Hey guys, welcome to Trapping World. If you want to help support the channel, go to the home page and you know what to do. There's a couple buttons there you can push if you're so inclined. Alrighty, enjoy the show. Stay safe, keep your boots dry. Hey guys, we're over at uh, one of the bait stations close to my house and we got us a uh, ram, did a nice job on this nice little coyote. Hung him up good. And uh, we'll, uh, you can see here, they've got a, a good trail where they've been sneaking in around the snare. So I'll just move one of the, the rams over and plop it down in right in there. See if we can't do some damage there. I guess I'll move that one. Then I'll come and replace that. So there's another nice coyote. A little bit uh, brownish, but hey, with the way they've been going, I ain't going to complain. So, alrighty. Hey guys, just wanted to show you real quick here. I uh, went into town. And, uh, I, you know, I would have got video out in the... I just stopped to check a couple traps on the way into town. But uh, here I got something that I have not caught in 40 years since I left southern Ontario. A long-tailed weasel. This is a 160 Belial. And here's the tape measure. See? the uh, You know, you're looking almost 12 inches from nose to the base of the tail. Like I said, I've never, these are a southern Ontario critter. I haven't seen one in forever. Um, the, uh, I'm just going to grab this other, like the weasels that we have around here are all short tail weasels. And here, I'll show you the difference. There's the stretched skin of a short tail weasel compared to the full body of a long tail. And you can see here, you know, the difference in tail length, obviously. Um, now, I didn't know this, because I've always just, you know, known what a long tail weasel looks like. They're just, you know, to me there's no comparison, but Mark Taylor at North Bay said one way to tell for sure is if you take the tail and bend it back, I don't want to bend this one so far that I break it, and if the tail goes back past the midway point of the body, then it's a long tailed weasel. And this one obviously is w well past the, the midway point. But uh, that's pretty cool. Like I said, I haven't caught one of them in 40 years. And uh, I would have taken the video outside, except that it's so disgustingly cold today. It was, uh, well, I mean, it wasn't disgustingly cold, but minus 24. But there's got to be a 30 mile an hour wind blowing. And I think that put the, you know, the wind chill down around minus uh, 44 or 45 or something like that. But anyways, yeah, look at the side of that thing. That's in a 160 Belial. Pretty cool. That's going to be at least an $8 weasel. Cha-ching. Paid for my gas into town anyways. <laughs> right on. Later. Okay, we're over where I caught that last coyote, just got the next snare down. And we have one there, hoping he's good. Oh no, he's got some shoulder mites. Darn. Oh, well, it's the first one out in this end of the... Um, trapping area that I've been hitting that has had shoulder mites. That's a darn. But what can you do? He is what he is. A waste of a, a snare. I don't know. Oops, sorry about that. And then I'll. Uh, Reset this a little farther down the trail when I come back. Right, well, here's our second coyote of the day. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get anything out of this one since the birds have got a hole chewed right into them, but we'll see. There might be a good chunk of them still good. We'll find out anyways. Bummer. Alrighty, we'll move on down. Hey guys, here's coyote number three for the day. Look at the beautiful color on this little thing. There's only one thing wrong with it. That would be that. <laughs> Asshole birds. But anyways. You know, I'm a quarter mile from any bait, so I was hoping that the birds wouldn't find these things. But with, you know, it's snowed once in the time since I've been here, about an inch, so they got at this. This guy was caught right away, and, and they, you know, it's nice to get some snow on the ground for them, but if you don't get it, they can see them pretty easy. Bummer. It's a beautiful colored coyote.